most people in Poland, the world has long ended here, at the border to Belarus. But since June, foreign tourists have been able to visit Belarus for up to three days without a visa. There's been a steady stream of people coming to check it out. Walkers, cyclists and even the border police themselves. Now that it's so easy, why miss out? My passage through Polish customs is swift and suddenly I find myself outside the EU. You don't need a visa for Belarus, but you do have to register in advance through a travel agency. And then there are, of course, the obligatory forms to fill out. On the Belarusian side, a shuttle bus awaits. Bit of a disappointment for the walkers. You are allowed to go on foot, but only if you stick to the road. Jorgeniusz Lavreniuk works as a tour operator and is constantly travelling around Belarus. He knows how to stick to the rules and still have a good time. It's a bit restrictive. You can't just go walking around the forest because it's a national park. But that doesn't bother most tourists. They still get to see enough if they stick to the rules. So far, there haven't been any disputes with soldiers or border police. Even in Belarus, times have changed. What makes this region so fascinating is the huge forest that crosses the entire border region, although we don't get to see much of it on the trip. But 20 kilometres from the border, we arrive at a kind of tourist centre. But it turns out it's pretty empty. Our first stop, the Currency Exchange Office. 200,000 for just over 10 euros. <laughs> Then it's off to a restaurant. Local businesses here are hoping to attract lots of Poles. The first challenge, though, is trying to read the menu. It's raining, but finally I'm allowed to go off exploring. This part of the forest is open to foreigners like me, thanks to the director of the National Park, or rather his friendship with President Alexander Lukashenko. There's plenty to see, like this ancient oak tree. It's 600 years old. It's survived the Tsars, kings, the communist general secretaries, it's belonged to Russia, Poland, Lithuania, and it's still standing. As I make my way back to the border, I meet some Polish day visitors who are heading home. So how was their day out in Belarus? Very positive. It's a beautiful area. Everything's well organized. Good routes for cyclists. I'm surprised. We had some problems at the border. We didn't take out any insurance. We didn't know we needed to. So first we had to go back and sort that out. So we haven't had much time today. But they're all planning to return. And I can see why. Before it was very difficult to come here. Now with the visa restrictions lifted, it's rather enticing.